We are picking up Barbara Fair, a retired social worker who is still an active community organizer in New Haven, Connecticut. Barbara has promised to show us around her neighborhood. She noticed an uptick in gun violence recently. Police statistics say homicides are up by 67% this year. It is serious, very serious. I mean, when people are hearing gunshots almost every day of their life, that's serious. Barbara takes us to the brand new community center in her neighborhood. It took the city a decade to finally finish building it, says Barbara. Now it's standing empty, figuratively speaking, just like almost everything else here, she explains. Communities are not coming together. They're not, uh, the programs that used to be here that at least assisted in some way are not here. There's a lot of people with uh, depression, anxiety, Though the mental illness is increasing along with the violence, people are not talking about that. But all of these factors, people losing their jobs, people uh, out here not even sure if they have a place to stay. All of these things um, are things that people now have to live with and cope with that they didn't have to cope with before. But because in we this know part of New Haven, as in many other places across the United States, communities lack the sense of community entirely, says Barbara. Businesses and houses are owned by people from the outside. Schools are of bad quality, and policing is done by officers who don't live in the community either. At another inner city community so resource we, center, uh, we're meeting with Leonard Jahat. Jahat is the executive director of the Connecticut Violence Intervention Program. His staff and he agree. New Haven is facing somewhat of a perfect storm right now. Yeah, a lot of folks are saying, you know, the police don't care. And the police are saying we do care, but we're not getting the funding that we used to. So we have 23 murders this year. Only three have been cleared. So, you know, we have not only shooters in this community, we have murders amongst us. Experts like Professor Mike Lawler point to yet another significant factor for the rise of gun violence here in New Haven and across the entire country, the killing of George Floyd. The extraordinary disruption of relationships between the police and the community that grew out of the murder of George Floyd, you know, that precipitated a huge um, reaction in the country and I think it's polarized law enforcement agencies and communities, especially communities of color. People here agree. America as a country and communities like New Haven need to take a hard look at new strategies to fight gun violence and crime.